learned about your buddy Zinger while he was sick? I, I, it, it put a different perspective on my life. I, I know it definitely put a different perspective on his life. I, it, all of a sudden, you know, golf, golf isn't everything in, in my life. I mean, I have a beautiful family. I have a wonderful wife and two lovely children. And if I don't, if I, on the way home, something would happen and I can't play golf again, hey, I've, I've had a wonderful career, but I want to be able to spend the rest of my life with my, my family and, and raise them the best that I can and give them all the love that I can. And that's one thing that Paul taught me that, you know, golf isn't everything. And when, you, when you're, all of a sudden, you, you have to look at life as, you know, God's going to call us home sometime. And Paul thought he was going to be called home early. And it didn't work out like that, which, thank God for that. You know, God decided cut Paul needed to spend a little more time down here with us because he's got some more better things to do. But, hey, you know, we're, uh, I'm, I'm going to a special place when I die, but I want to make sure that my life's special while I'm here. And when I'm done here, then my time's done. If you could see me now, I'm walking streets of gold. If you could see me now, I'm standing tall and I think that we all have something in common and that, and that we have dreams and the, uh, the thing about dreams is sometimes you get to live them out. I really have got a great grip on life right now. I'm, I have a wonderful family and I'm, I'm, I'm in touch, you know, I'm in touch when I'm home, I'm a father. When I'm on the road, I'm a golfer, and I love my life. You could see me now. I'm walking the streets of gold. You could see me now. You could only see me.